Chaos caught on video inside a Jeffersonville High School bathroom. Family members tell WDRB one student was left coughing up blood and bruised. WDRB's Jalen Level spoke with the family who says they wish the school did more to prevent this altercation. Jalen? Yeah, absolutely, Go. You can see right in this video that's at Jeffersonville High School. Dozens of students inside the restroom. It appears one student is being physically targeted by a group of individuals. Now, we want to warn you this video could be difficult to watch. It was like a pack of wolves in there, man, just tearing into a little guy that didn't do anything. The footage made Robert Thompson furious. <laughs> Chaos inside the boys' bathroom. To see your loved one there and be just totally helpless. Thomason says the student being attacked is his nephew, a freshman at Jeffersonville High. The incident happened on Monday. The widely shared video documents 45 seconds when more than a dozen students are unsupervised. Several punches are thrown. The 15 year old is physically assaulted. I mean, this is excessive, man. This is ridiculous. They could have killed him. They could have killed him, man. Thomason says the fight started over a pair of tennis shoes. My nephew was trading tennis shoes or something, and one of the kids decided they wanted them. We're told the student was taken to the hospital with bruisings on his face. Police and the Clark County Prosecutor's Office now determining if anyone will face criminal charges. Thompson believes it all could have been prevented. Hall monitors, bathroom monitors, I mean, they just dropped the ball on this completely. There definitely should have been someone there to stop that. Greater Clark County Schools released a statement and quote, there will be disciplinary consequences and in no way does the district tolerate this kind of behavior in our schools. We got to sit and talk about it and see what our next steps will be, man, because we're still kind of in shock with this, man. Now, in a statement to the Clark County Prosecutor's Office said, my staff is working with the Juvenile Probation Department to prepare the appropriate charges on the appropriate individuals. Jalen Level, WDRB News.